Welcome back to Income Trading 101. I'm your host, Eric, and today we're going to take a look at GameStop Corporation, which has been going absolutely crazy uh, as seen by this chart. So I'm going to start at zero, and this is going to be a technical analysis study of it, obviously, but look at this, right? Like you go all the way back and keep going back and back and back, and this stock has been pretty, you know, it's been pretty even keel. Nothing too crazy. I guess this uh, move in, uh, I guess, in the first half of 2019 uh, cut the stock in half from r roughly 20 down to 10 bucks a share. And this stock has seen some uh, higher days, right? But let's just keep on going back because I do this so I get a sense of where a stock is relative to where it's been. And this is always very important. So. I'm using TradingView, and I'm just going to keep going back as far as it'll let me. And it looks like that is the end of the line. So roughly, uh, maybe they IPO'd back here in 2010. I don't know. But I'm looking back then at a high of roughly, uh, let's see, it says $57.19 up there. So we'll use that as context, $57.19. And... We see that this stock was, you know, trading between, uh, you know, I mean, it dropped below $10 a share for a long time. And then September of this year happened, uh, September, I'm sorry, of last year, 2020. And we see it start to come up and up and up. And it sort of reached, I mean, blew right through that previous high of 57, uh, not, I think 19 or something like that, I said. And uh, in the last couple of days, has just taken off. And look at the volume that has come with that. I, I normally don't look at volume. There are a lot of people that use volume as part of their trading analysis. Um, I only look at it just, at, just as a means of understanding the regular flows. So if the normal volume is down here, and you see these uh, green and red bars, the normal volume is 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 fairly low in the what do we have in the you know 30 million 12 million uh 6.2 million you know sub uh sub 30 million dollar or 30 million volume range right now we're seeing and you can see this in the in the uh upper left corner of the screen next to vol uh just on today alone January 26th there are 173 point Point, basically 0.4 million shares traded yesterday, a hundred, nearly 178 million. Uh, day before that, 197 million. Um, this is crazy. Last week, you know, a little, a uh, couple of weeks ago, actually, 144 million. So, um, yes, there are, there's a lot of news, so a lot of reasons for people thinking a certain way. So here, I'm going to turn the, uh, the volume off. Uh, the volume of stock traded so we can just get a, a better sense. Uh, you can see they had earnings uh, back here on December the 8th and uh, of 2020. And it's just been, it was kind of plugging along. And then on January 13th, we had a big up day, some milder moves. And as of the 22nd, which would be last week, and then uh, yesterday, uh, this is Friday, Monday, Tuesday, this stock finished, this stock closed at $147.98 today. That is crazy. So anyway, let's get into the analysis of this stock. I'm going to pull it back a little bit. Um, I like starting off with a little bit of moving average analysis because that way um, it just gives us an idea of where the stock is and where it's been. So we're just going to do a regular moving average. I like to look at three of them all together. And since this is actually a stock, I'm going to look at a, I like the 10 day, which essentially is a two week. I like a, a 20 day, which ends up basically being one month worth of trading days. And then I'm going to look at a 60 day, which is the equivalent of, of three months. So um, we're going to, I mean, really, because these last few days are so crazy, um, and this is exactly what I would have figured. Uh, you see all three, all three are in line. You've got the 
10-day moving average is significantly higher than the 20-day, which is higher than the 60-day. No news there, really. Um, this just says that game stock is likely going to go higher. And I would also, you know, normally I would look at some sort of a Fibonacci retracement, but we've already blown through the last high. So we're at all-time highs, and without a true retracement, Fibonacci is less relevant. So next up, I'm going to use one of my uh, preferred indicators. And that is the MACD uh, analysis, which, of course, uh, is also going to just be sort of blown out right now because of where this where the stock is. You know, you just have this going all the way into overbought territory. Certainly doesn't mean that that this stock won't go higher. Uh, it's being driven higher on news and Reddit post and all sorts of things right now. So uh, for those of you that don't have a heart uh, to trade uh, the fundamental or the news side of this, um, which I'll, I'll put as part of the uh, fundamentals, uh, certainly the news and the expectations, um, this, is a, this is a high flying stock right now. Uh, technical analysis really isn't going to tell you much more than, yes, it's in an upward trend. When you have a stock that normally didn't move more than, you know, three, four dollars a day. And then today alone, it's up seventy one dollars, not percent dollars. Um, that's crazy. Right. So this is obviously flying higher and we'll just have to wait a few more days uh, to see if the if the uh, up move continues or if there's going to be some sort of a pullback. Uh, if there are going to be any gap moves, we'll start looking for indications that either this stock isn't going to stay up here, right? And that there might be a retracement. I mean, just for uh, for giggles, let's look at what the Fibonacci would be like on, on this. If you were to take this from bottom to top of its range, right? So a... 38.2% pullback would take you to $105. 50% pullback would take you to $89.33. 61.8 would take you to uh, $73. And I mean, it, this is just huge. So because this stock is high flying, technical analysis right now really isn't as relevant. Um, what will be relevant is understanding whether that increase in volume is real and going to be sustained or if these are just people who are going to pump the stock higher and then uh, just as quickly uh, push to get it out, right? Push to, to pump that stock lower. You look at, at on Friday, there were, just looking at the volume, sorry, on Friday, there are 197 million shares pushing the stock higher. And on Monday, there were 177 million, uh, almost 178 million shares that uh, that had the stock on a low day. But look how high it got. It hit its high and then finished significantly lower. Today, of course, Tuesday the 26th, you have 173.4 million. So there are a lot of shares being moved around on this stock. I personally, uh, you know, if you can pick up some some dollars like if this thing is up seventy one dollars today, it most likely is going to be up a little bit more tomorrow. But we'll see. Um, I wouldn't get into the stock if you're not up for a short term trade that is uh, fully supported by hype and news more so than fundamentals and technical analysis. I mean, we know that this is the same company. They had earnings back on December the eighth, so. More than a month later, you start to get this pop, uh, pushing it higher than $20 a share. And in a matter of two weeks, we've already, it'll be two weeks from uh, tomorrow. Uh, in a matter of two weeks, we've gone from essentially $20 a share, right? Uh, $30 a share is a high. It had a $10 move that day, a little higher actually looking at the candle. Um, from $20 a share all the way to $147 a share. There isn't a technical pattern that can uh, that can justify that. There isn't a calculation that would have forecast that. This is a Mack truck. I wouldn't short it. 
Uh, at best, I would look to see, I'd look for this momentum to continue, but uh, with it this high, certainly be waiting, uh, waiting for that momentum to fall off. And you might see that with the drop in volume, the volume of shares traded, you might see that just in stock coming off and not being able to match these, these uh, big candles. I mean, look at that. On Monday the 25th, you had a low, a low of $61 and a high of nearly $160. <laughs> that is crazy for a stock like this. A stock that for the longest time traded for under $20 a share. Now it's having $100 day moves. It's crazy. So anyway, if you're trading this, keep your eyes open. Uh, have fun. Be ready to buy. Be ready to exit. Um, and, uh, you know, make sure it fits within your risk limit so you don't blow your account up. A $100 move on a stock intraday can blow a lot of people's account up, accounts up. So be careful, enjoy it, and as usual, happy trading.